Manage your Twitter followers with three simple tools. Chris Scoyles Coach and Trainee Counselor Specializing in Mental Health and Addiction. Read full profile. When you've been on Twitter for some amount of time, the number of people you follow can quickly mount up. This is especially true if you subscribe to the etiquette of returning the favor to everybody who follows you when building up your social network. There's certainly no problem in following several thousand people if that's what works for you. But if you're anything like this writer, you'll probably find a smaller number much more manageable. It may be that, in following every tweeter in existence, your stream has been clogged with all manner of tweets which, whilst interesting in their own right, don't add as much value to your Twitter stream as you'd like. It could even be that some of those irrelevant tweets come from people you only followed as a courtesy and who no longer follow you anyway. Or it could just be that you like to keep on top of these things. Whatever your reasons for wanting to manage your following follower ratio on Twitter. Here's three simple tools to do the job quickly and simply. Friend or follow is a nifty little website which breaks your followers down into three simple categories. There are a couple of tools floating around on the internet which provide a similar function. But where friend or follow's beauty lies is in its utter simplicity. Head to the website www.friendorfollow.com and in the nice friendly box on the homepage. Type in your Twitter username and submit. From there, the site displays the avatars of any users you follow but, for whatever reason, don't follow you back in a handy grid. Where it lets you down is in the inability to unfollow people direct from the site. But if you do want to unfollow someone, it's as simple as clicking on their avatar to load their profile to handle unfollowing via Twitter. Hit the fans tab, and you'll be presented with those folks you're not following back. There might be a good reason for this. But if you lost track of who to follow back, this tab comes in pretty handy. As for the friends tab, I've yet to find much of a use for this yet. Though I'm sure there must be one. If you'd rather not have to remember to visit a website to manage your Twitter followers. Quitter. One of the longest serving and arguably most popular services of its type. Rounds up a list of who stops following you and emails said list to you once a week. Again, the website is incredibly simple to use. Submit your username on the homepage and you'll be asked to hook up Quitter to your Twitter account. Once that's done, enter and verify your email address and each week you'll be given a list of everyone who's abandoned ship in the past seven days. This is a few more steps than the first site we looked at. But once you've completed these steps you never need visit the site again. Just wait for that weekly email. Again, there are a number of services out there which do a similar task to Untweets. But since we like things easy and simple, this one gets the nod. The idea behind Untweets is very straightforward, seek out any inactive accounts you're following on Twitter and learn how long they've been inactive for. Head to the site, and authorize the site to access your Twitter account. Next. Simply enter how many days back you'd like to search for inactive accounts. You'll be presented with a list of those inactive users. Along with the last date they tweeted. Where Untweep's triumphs over other services is that you can take care of any unfollowing you'd like to do from right there in the site. Useful, right? After all, who wants to be following someone who never tweets? These three tools should be everything you need to keep tabs of your Twitter followers. Though it would be great to hear some of your suggestions for alternatives below. Nat Eliasson Nat is the founder of the marketing agency Growth Machine. He shares lifestyle tips on life hack. Read full profile. Do you want to keep a budget, but aren't sure where to start? Or maybe you have your money in a few different places and want an easy way to keep an eye on it all. We scoured the web and app stores to find the best money management apps so you can dive in. Start saving money. And live more financially secure. 1. Mint. Mint is a great app for seeing where all of your money is on all of your devices. It can track your bank accounts, credit cards, and even investments. You can also use it to plan budgets and future expenses. But its main focus is on giving you a financial overview. You need a budget, YNAB, is a great tool for setting a budget and sticking to it. YNAB is nicely designed and gives you a clear report of where your money is going. As well as tools and four rules for budgeting to help you save. Spendy is a budget and expense tracker with a heavy focus on design. Spendy is truly beautiful and does a good job of showing you where all of your money is going and how you can adjust course. The only downside is that you'll need to manually enter your transactions. Expensify is perfect for the business traveler who wants to easily create expense reports of where he or she is spending money. You can do things such as take pictures of receipts. Track your time. 
log any distances traveled, and print it out whenever you want to for expense reporting. Budge is another good app for helping you watch your budget, and it's geared towards college students and other people on more strict monthly incomes. If you're a student trying to make sure you stick within a certain allowance, this is a great app for you. Dollarbird is a personal finance app that focuses around creating a calendar of your expenses to give you a high-level view of your expenditures, as well as predict big expenses that will come up in the future. It's great for making sure you have a macro-level view of your financial situation. The Pocket Expense app is an alternative to Mint. It gives you an overview of all of your accounts and expenses, and helps you keep everything in check without too many bells and whistles. Toshal is a fun personal financial management app that has many of the features of the other apps on this list and adds in fun animated characters to make it more interesting it's also one of the few to also have an app for windows phones budget boss is interesting because it learns your spending habits and in addition to helping you make a budget it can predict your spending over time in order to let you know where you'll likely be at financially in the future it's great for helping you adjust course from spending too much of your money those are our top 9 picks for great budgeting tools. But ultimately the most important thing is that you have some sort of money management system. Keeping track of our money is important for ensuring that we're on track for all of our financial goals. Text source, lifehack.org.